The Oregon Country Fair was started in 1969 as a fundraiser for an alternative school in the area. The first one was actually held in the city of Eugene, but then it was moved about 14 miles west to Veneta, where it is today. They continue to honor their mission of philanthropy and land stewardship through grants and an endowment fund to assist arts, environmental, and social justice projects in the area. There are many different stages set up throughout the area with bands performing all day long. The fair has about 350 booths with everything from food to handmade fishing nets, and the annual attendance is around 45,000. The fair was awarded Eugene's Bold Steps Award as a result of the hard work they put into making it a zero-waste event. I've got to say, I've never seen anything like it. Despite the high volume of food being served, there was not a piece of plastic cutlery to be seen. Metal utensils were used, and there were bins all over the place to drop them in. All plates and cups were biodegradable, which means you couldn't find a soda or a bottle of water anywhere. Now don't get me wrong, there were plenty of delicious homemade juices and lemonades available at the food stands, but nothing in a bottle or can. The site is literally in the woods, and the work that has gone into maintaining the atmosphere is astonishing. Everything just looked so cool, like something straight out of Lord of the Rings. My first thought was that it's what I had wished the Renaissance Fair looked like, so I wasn't actually too surprised to learn that until 1977, it was known as the Oregon Renaissance Fair. Although I lovingly refer to this event as the Naked Hippie Fair, full nudity is actually not allowed, but that really only means that your genitals have to be covered up. Boobies and booties abound, but I intentionally left them out of this video. Just because you want them out in the woods doesn't mean you want them out on YouTube. Don't let the rampant semi-nudity fool you. This is definitely a family affair. There are tons of activities for kids, including puppet shows, face painting, and there's even an event stage for young performers. There's absolutely no alcohol allowed in or served anywhere at the fair. Smoking is limited to designated areas, and they expect you to stick to the legal stuff. <laughs> 